In this adventure, my survival skills are really going to be put to the test. Thieves, bandits, and aggressive zombies roam these lands, and in order to survive, I had to build a hidden base capable of surviving any threat. From discovering a quiet survivor camp in the middle of the woods to ambushing other survivor groups nearby, this journey is going to be one of my most exciting yet. So let's get started from where everything began, on the coast as a new survivor. Alright, here we go. Ooh, looks like we got a decent spawn here. Anyways, it's been a while, guys. Uh, I missed you all, and I hope you're all staying safe and healthy in these strange, strange times in real life. Uh, the world's going crazy, but we're surviving, just like I'm going to survive today. So this server isn't the usual I play on. This one is called Exile Z, and it's basically a hardcore focused server that has a lot of new features that I haven't really experienced before. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge at first, but hopefully we learn quick. Oh, there's a body right here. Let's see. So I think this is one of the AI bandits that are around the map, or at least the coast. I think the coast has like gangs and bandit groups roaming around, so it looks like somebody managed to kill this one. And um, I think they probably looted most of his stuff, but uh, we'll take his bag and, and the vest and stuff. It's not too bad. So in the first 10 minutes or so, nothing crazy happened, and it was pretty quiet. I killed a few zombies, searched their inventories, and I managed to get a little bit of starting food. I also realized that you couldn't actually lock zombies away on this server. They could actually break down doors, so that was going to be a problem for me. Alright, so my main priority is to meet up with my friends Carbon and Dexter. I'm somewhere on the southeast coast, and they're around the town of Kamishovo, so I need to make my way down there. Okay, so as I'm approaching the town of Kamishovo, I noticed that I had leveled up some skills. I didn't even know about this at first, but I realized that the more you do certain actions, you can actually get skill points and use those to go into different perk trees and get different benefits, basically. I knew I was going to be on the move a lot, so I focused on the athletics tree, and I got a lot of perks that helped me with my stamina regen and speed. Hello, amigo. Be friendly. Hello? Oh, it's an AI. I need to beat the brakes off him. Don't fight back. Don't fight back. Oh! What? Ain't no way I lose this to a fucking bot, man. It's a robot. I literally got packed up by AI. GG. It was a tough lesson to learn, but the coastal bandits were not going to be as easy to beat as I had hoped. And I ended up spawning back on the east coast once again. Oh, goodness. It's a guy. Hello? I doing this again now. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm friendly, buddy. Don't, don't. You okay, man? I heard shots. You're good, man. You're good. You're good. AI. Okay, nice. Hey, is is there any yeah, spare melee weapons around so I can fight zombies? How about I give you this fine Corinthian steel Oriental machete? Yeah, that'll do the trick. Beautiful, man. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. All right. Well, I think I'll, I'll head on now. I'm going to go loot a little bit. Thanks for the help. Yeah, it's nice All to right, meet man. you, Mario. Yeah. Nice good to meet luck. you guys, and uh, good luck out there. You as well. Since I had died and my friends had also died as well, we decided to meet at the large town of Novo up north, which wasn't too far from where I spawned. I'm going towards the um, hospital. Yeah, that's where I am right now. Hello, Survivor. <gasps> Hello, What's Survivor. What's going on, buddy? Drop me that shovel right now, or I'm taking it by force. Finally, Dexter and I had grouped up, and we were able to start heading out west. At that moment, we didn't really have any plans on where to build or what to do. We were just trying to take things one step at a time and survive, which, for me, was going to prove hard because everything was trying to kill us. Stop teabagging me, dickhead. <laughs> Put the Help. look this cooler box at you. <laughs> Help. 
After about 20 minutes of running, it started to get dark out and our friend Carbon was able to catch up with us because he found a car on the coast. Garbanzo's here. Having a car this early on was gonna make base building so much easier and we could carry a lot of stuff at one time. With this in mind, we drove west overnight towards the town of Novaya, which had a lot of industrial areas where we could hopefully find nails and tools. Oh, that's a gunter right there, hold on. And I do have it's a shovel. It's got four wheels too. Let's just take the gunter instead. Fuck that guy. Just Ooh. needs a battery. All right. Nice. I'm gonna check industrial briefly just for a base. Oh, there is a base in here, but um, it's in the back room. Oh. Uh huh. Drive the car over, Carbon. Is it wood? Oh, it's wood. Huh. If wait, if the if this isn't a roof, we just jump over the wall. You're gonna have to actually be back there to. There's probably another gate. So. There is a third one. First, he have to test the pickaxe. If the pickaxe works, we definitely can bypass these two airlocks. We go on the corner, and then we just break the last one. Hopefully, that's the last door. Oh, it's a three dial on the end. Oh, that's free. Okay, yeah, yeah. There you go. He got it. Yeah. Let me get in there too. Oh, all the nails! Holy fucking smokes! like 500 in here and a ton of planks in a way oh we did it oh my god look at the planks yeah. bro we're filling the car up dude is there another door in there no it seemed like whoever owned this base was pretty new to base building because there's no other reason you should have a three digit combination lock to your main loot room door. This could have easily been prevented if they had a four dial. Uh huh. Uh huh. What was the code? Eh? 808. 808. Oh, the cinder blocks. Wait a minute. Oh, that's the meds. Oh, oh my god. Jesus Christ. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Go ahead and open that for you. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, yeah. There's one more. Open the bottom one. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, buddy. Oh, my. Oh, my. holy mama. Let me grab one of those. <laughs> stuff in my face right now, man. <laughs> no shot, man. They goofed. They goofed with this one. This base completely changed the day up for us. Instead of having to grind for all the small tools needed to build a full base, we had every single thing we could possibly need right here. We filled up the car as much as we could and got out of there before anybody figured out what happened. If you head into the southwestern region of the map, there's going to be a dam and it's a pretty good spot to build most of the time. It's quiet and there's good resources nearby. We made our way over there to scout it out. So there's actually a military oh, here. Oh no way there is. So, I'm gonna go ahead and turn around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's so weird. The dam had a custom military location, so we obviously couldn't build there. But there was a bridge nearby, and we thought, maybe we make a bridge base. But not a bridge base like you've seen before. This one was gonna be different. All right, guys, so we're making a bridge base here, but it's not going to be above the bridge. It's going to be under the bridge. Uh, the reason for doing this is that we don't want people to know where we live. So the way we're going to build it hanging under means that helicopters flying over aren't going to be able to see where we're living. And um, nobody should find it pretty much where we're building. Like nobody goes by here for the most part, so we'll be OK. So the reason we're putting these little uh, half walls here are so that he can snap the main wall from above down just like this and then we're going to bring it all the way around and then we're going to bring it back around so it's going to be a two-story base hanging underneath the bridge now although we had a whole bunch of stuff from that base raid we only had 500 nails still and that was not going to be enough to finish this whole base nowhere near close we had to build this in different stages and stage one was going to be just one little box where we could throw our loot temporarily Ooh. 
so there is one problem. <laughs> Leaving. <laughs> like a nice drink after a hard day's work. Huh? <laughs> Damn, bro, you had a long day, huh? Deuce tuckered out. After a long day of surviving, we got tired, which can be seen by this little sleep icon on the bottom right of the screen. If this actually hits red, you'll start to pass out, so you actually do have to sleep and stay well rested unless you want to die. Alright. I'm awake. There's a guy on the radio wondering what's going on right now. Ask him where he is. We can help him. Where are you at, buddy? We'll come help you. Wait, there's actually a guy on the radio? Yeah. Put it on the ground, let me hear him. Meet you in the woods. Where are you at, buddy? Mm -hmm. What's your name? Sex. <laughs> My name is Mario, what about you? Oh, my name is Dallas. Can we make out now? Uh, I guess. Where you at, man? Sick. Where do you want to meet? Yeah, I what? don't know. Wherever you at. Where are you at? Oh, there's two of you on the radio. Well, if you're going to the mission, it's already complete. Yeah, whatever. Don't care. See you later. Whoever we heard was likely nearby, considering the small radio only works within short ranges. It was kind of creepy to think that there could be somebody out in the woods right now watching us, and it became clear to us that we had to be more cautious because we weren't the only ones out here. Not too long after, we heard some shots at the nearby military base at Zelen, so we went to check and see if the guy we were talking to might be over there. Oh, that's several people. Oh. Shot man. Others right here. <laughs> okay, dude. Did he one shot you? Yep. No way. What the? I grabbed all of Dexter's stuff after he got killed and made my way out of the base. On the way out, I did find some really high tier armor on one of the zombies, and then afterwards we grouped up at the police station to open up a locked chest. It's gonna take a while. Oh, that's oh, actually that's much needed. We lying. I'll um, I can hold the code lock for now. We went home and placed our new code lock on our door, and then logged out. This was pretty much the end of the first day on the server. All right, all right, a new morning, a new beginning. Today we're gonna have a pretty busy day, it seems like. We need to do a lot of building, but to do that we need a lot of nails. So I'm gonna head back to that police station we went to last night and uh, break into that locked box. Hopefully I can get a few more boxes of nails out of it. Also, I'm gonna try to take out the AI at uh, the Zelen military base too. Maybe they're gonna drop good stuff. What the f- Who's knocking on the door? Please, give me what I deserve. Uh huh. Take three nails. That's actually not bad. They're shooting at Zelen. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check. Or at the military, I mean. Alright, so this is probably the best chance to introduce bullet wounds. You see that little red mark in the bottom right corner? That means that a bullet went through my armor and I have to surgically remove it. Now this is really inconvenient because if you get into a big fight, as you're gonna see us do later, and you don't have enough surgical kits, you're gonna slowly just bleed out and die. Even if you have a really good armor and you have high health.
One's right under me. That was crazy. He hit me twice through the stairs. Bots all seem to have just basic rifles and then um, just some barter goods, which I don't even know how those work yet, so I'm probably not going to take them, but yeah, if we don't find a surgery kit somewhere around here, we're probably going to die. Just not. What the hell are you doing, man? Why are you riding like this? It's not Tarkov. I was so badly injured that I couldn't even boost up into this train car and check if this guy had a surgery kit. But thankfully, my friend Emnix was in the nearby area, so he came over to save my life. <laughs> if he wasn't here, I definitely was not going to make it back to base alive. Oh, this is so much better now. <laughs> Now you can actually get in. Oh, and you have another gate. Nice. Yeah, I didn't put a lock on it yet, though. Nah, this is very good. At least we can uh, get into our base. And I was waiting to build more for your arrival. Now is the time, if you want. So let me show you something I wanted to show you earlier. Okay, okay what's that? All right, so if you have pliers, uh -huh. and, you, and you take a full stack of ammo. Okay. You keeping up? You demonstrating this or? Uh, I'll demonstrate it for you. So here I have a stack of- a drink in here for the meantime? Yeah, go ahead and get a drink real quick. It's okay, we'll get you some water after this. Um, So I have a stack of 380 rounds here. So if uh -huh. I go ahead and drop that on the ground, I take some uh -huh. pliers, right? Yeah. I will be able to break these bullets down and get gunpowder and like, I guess the bullet casings. Uh huh. So go oh. ahead and take a look there. Box of gunpowder. See the casings? Uh huh. That so I do. Go ahead and combine those two things and tell me what you see. Yeah. So with a full stack of gunpowder, you can make like 308 and stuff. Yeah, that's big. Cause like we really need that type of ammo. Well, you were out PVPing. I was in the base mastering the blade. Yeah, okay. It's kind of like... Ooh. Oh. Is that here? I don't think so. That sounded like in the woods. Which is kind of odd, because what's out here? <laughs> uh, literally nothing. Maybe there's like a freestanding base in the woods. Maybe. Ah, uh, to our left. Gilly. I see him, yeah. Okay, dude, I sold the bag. Oh my god, why would you shoot him here? He's coming back our way. It's moving up, right? Okay. Hit him. Why don't I see him? Hit him again. Dead? I don't see this dude at all. What the heck? Yeah, I see he's dead. Or he's uncommon. Oh, killed him, yeah. Okay. Now he's dead. Alright. I did not know he was this close, bro. Uh-huh. Oh my 
god! Oh. Oh my. Holy, <laughs> Holy moly. It's a farmer. But did he have friends? Uh, it's possible. But he was heading towards Veer, and then he got shot, and then he ran back up, like, the way he was shooting from, so... Hmm. His base is, base is either in the woods or in Zvir. I wonder what he was shooting, because he has no meat on him, right? There's no zombies this far out. Yeah, I have no idea. Because he's, Wolves. like, shooting for yeah, either that or reference for a friend. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that, I mean, that whoever this was, he's going to his base for a fact. We just... I do want to know where it is. Yeah, we can go looking. I'm interested to see. If you guys are familiar with this part of the map, there really isn't much stuff west of the position we were located at when we killed this guy. But still, for some reason, he was heading towards the edge of the map and not in a northern or southern direction. He was going straight west. Normally, we would just think he's exploring, but the fact that he had so much gear on him made it clear that he was just finishing up a farm run for his base, which was likely right in the woods based on the direction he was going. So with all of this in mind, we went on a little hiking trip up into the hills to see if we could find any signs of life. So there is a couple houses below us here. I'm looking at those distant ones. That could be a little base. Nothing over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's either right here or in Zvir. Unless somebody's- No, no, there is a base. I see a flag. There's a white flag at that house down there. Uh-huh. Oh, wait a minute. It's an RP camp. Is it really? Yeah. I could jump right over the wall. What's going on in there? It's a three dial on the front one? No. As long as the inside's not three dial, that'd be bad. He's gotta have a teammate in there or something. So yeah, it's two separate bases. It might be a little community living here. They do have a window in the watermelon, but if we want to pick the three dial on this side, we probably could. I'm saying we just boost that one, right? The first one? Or we could boost into the tent. Yeah, know? just boost into the tent. Hopefully we find an ax. All right, let's give it a try. There's an oxygen tank in here. Hey, hello. Hello, neighbors. So there, I see a four-door locker in here. He has this barricaded. Yeah, there you go. I will provide Overwatch. Yeah, just keep a little eye out. Oh, this is nice. They have, like, beach chairs and a sofa. <laughs> There's a tent, too. Medium tent. Okay, there's not a crazy amount of stuff. Ooh, there's a little house in here. Oh yeah, someone lives here, bro. Let's see. <laughs> There wasn't anything too good inside of this shed, but that made sense since most of their good stuff was probably in the main houses. Now we come down, you can try to jump into the other one. Oh yeah, sure. Alright. This is weird, he's like open gate. Uh, tent has has nothing really good, just like a car battery. He has a land claim kit. Mm hmm. Don't really think we need that. And he's a uh, um, you know the Karasa vest from Tarkov. Yeah. That's in there. 
Okay, so this is a, a four dial in here. Damn. Yeah. And it's a base building plus, so. I don't know if we can do anything right now. For now, we couldn't do much except wait for him to come home and hopefully catch him at his gate while he was removing his code lock. We waited there for about 20 minutes and sadly nobody ever showed up, so we went to take some stuff from his shed and take it home with us. Remember this base though, because we'll be coming back here later on. Now the thing is, is our base right now is not very hidden because it's nothing but white floors and blue holograms. True. But it will be one day. And perhaps that day is now. Yeah, that'll do. Nice, man. Finally. Alas, we are secured. I am Daisy's best base builder, after all. You're Daisy's best base builder slash engineer. Not just a base builder. Anybody can build a base, you know, throw up a little shelter, but uh, the way you do it is different. There's a science to it. Right. It's a process. They won't understand your genius until you're gone. Out east we had heard that there was a barter trader, so we made our way over there, but got sidetracked in the town of Staroy. Why is there a zombie already down there? We may have dudes. Probably gonna be a base. Oh yeah, there's a guy. He's holding a bag. He's running right out of the... I uh, see him. Should I try and snipe no, him? No, 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 no. Catch him. He's coming down into town, I think. Maybe. We got a bag. He's probably living here, going to his base. Yeah, you'll be living like in this barn, maybe. Yeah. I don't want him to go into the barn, though. That's the thing. I have a good shot right now. You could shoot him if you want. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna push. Like he's running to the barn, dude. That might be his base. So if we want to shoot, we should probably shoot. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot. Hit him. I killed him. Oh, good shot, dude. I whiffed. <laughs> good thing, good thing you hit. I don't. I barely missed him, though. <laughs> it was a close shot in my defense. Yeah, okay. That's all right, man. Yeah, I think he lives in the barn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he almost made it. He I think. might have a teammate, so watch out. Yeah, we'll find out. Fucking hell, how did I miss that? Dude is running in like a perfect line. Bro, I, I, didn't le <laughs> I, I needed to lead it by like a half an inch, I swear. Uh, Big sniper guy. Not a barn base. Uh, it could be in like lower story then. Most likely. Let's check him though. Oh. Oh. You got the goods? Dude was a farmer. Oh yeah. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> He's a real big farmer. You wanna check through the town? Oh, uh, we can check like double brown. Alright. Damn, that zombie. Or fortress, maybe? No, it's right here, probably. Walled room right here. It's a vanilla, though. Oh. We can always come back if you want. We could sell and make room and then come back and do that in daytime as well. Yeah, up to you. No matter to me. I'd rather wait until daytime, and that way he might be better if he's online as well. Let's just go sell. Let him come back. We made it to the barter trader, but honestly, there was nothing really valuable to trade for since most of the stock was based on what other players had previously traded him. The only thing we bothered trading for was grenades, which would actually turn out to be useful since we could use these on the base we just saw back in the village of Staroy. Yeah, we'll do the dynamite first. Ah, oh, here we go. Ignite. You failed to start a fire, are you kidding me, man? Oh, we're in. Ah, 
All right, you're pissed, cause. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Check over here, man. I gotta be better than that. Uh, um. <laughs> no, there's no way. Ooh. Oh, is that at us? We're inside. <laughs> In a way. I wonder what he was shooting at. Although the raid wasn't worth, we did have somebody shooting up the hill that we could pursue. However, we checked the entire town and didn't end up finding the shooter, although we did find the guy that he killed. Based on the direction he shot from, we thought he was probably just going to keep heading further north, so we tried to follow in that direction. Dude's going crazy. I want to go, I just got to eat. Someone's getting murked. Jesus Christ. Oh, Ooh, that does sound like AI, bro. <laughs> AI don't make dump like that. Ain't way. <laughs> That's a frightened soul. No, f there's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, bro. Don't get headshot. <laughs> get me up in the woods, man. Bunch of dead shit out in the field. No, there's a guy standing. Is that a guy? Or is it like an AI? Way. Right to the right of that body in the zombie. He's just standing there looking around. He's bandaging. He has a killer helmet. I don't even see him. Look at that. Come here. Come here. Come to me. Come to me. Quick. I don't even know where you are. Right here. Right here. Right in front of you. He's moving. You see him? Look. Look. He's moving wide open, dude. He jumped the fence. Oh, I see him. I see him again. He's, he's prone. He's looting. He's looting right now. You'll see him. Just follow that road into town. You'll see him prone in the, the right side of it somewhere in the grass. There might be more than one. Yeah. There is. There is. Another one's in the right. Oh, it's right here. Oh, dead. There's another one to the right. I'm running back up the hill. Yeah, I'm up here. Oh, there's a kid up here. Hit him twice. He's running down towards you. I see you, I don't... He's right below me. I see him. Hit him. Hit him more. I'm pushing Some him. Time. Yeah, let's finish him quick. He's dead. Good shots, man. Yeah, I see the killer, dude. He's, he's down there in the ditch, crawling. He's literally prone. I'm gonna finish him right now. That should be a kill. No, he's still moving. Is that him running down the yeah, road? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm gonna kill his dumbass right now. He's hurt bad. You hit him. I don't know if I just killed him or not. No, 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 no. no he's still running. Bruh. Unless I just killed him. He's behind the fence. He sh Surely he's hit dead, right? I'm pretty sure I killed him, yeah. All right, good shots, my boy. Oh yeah, this dude had a uh, suppressed M4. Go fuck ton of food. No, he's still there. He's still alive. He's still alive. Same, like same exact fence. What the fuck? No fucking way. He fell uncon then. He's stopping. He, did he uncon? I think he Maybe. uncon. Yeah, yeah, he's uncon. We gonna finish him right now. Hit him. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hit him again? That's gotta be a kill, right? Like, I just hit him, like, I hit him twice, you hit him twice, he's dead. If this dude's not behind this fence, you will see me log off the server permanently. <laughs> yeah, he's dead, dead. Thank god, man. I grabbed this guy's armor, which happened to be one of the strongest you could get on this server. After looting, we made our way back towards the base when we heard a sniper shooting near Zelen. It sounds like he's on the hill, no? Yeah, he's probably on the hill. Oh yeah, I seen his tracer. He's uh, he's at one of the rocks, I think. There are two, two guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where the other one is. I only see the one of the tree. Uh. Yeah, and then right of him at the... I see um, him, I see him. I see them both. Yeah. They're both behind a tree. Do you want to flank them? Yeah, let's go. 
Oh, he stinks still. Hold up. Maybe me. Lean, lean, lean. Yeah, yeah. Or crouch. Yeah. No, that, that's not you. One is dead. Good shot. I dropped one at the tree. I'm at the trees where they're just where. Oh, shots. I killed him. I just made sure he's dead. These guys had some pretty useful stuff like tape and leather sewing kits, which we actually needed pretty badly. So we grabbed as much as we could, went to base to deposit. And then after that, we made our way towards the airfield looking for shots or for another base. I so I'm thinking sewing shop or church. There's gotta be a base in church. There's a kid holding a fucking car door in front, running into the shed. Yeah. Huh? Get right ahead next to the barn house. Oh. Two to two. I see them. Oh, they're oh, full of fucking juice. Are we getting closer or are we shooting here? I was, I was getting a little bit closer, I think. <laughs> He's in the car. Should I headshot him? If you have to take it, don't wait for us, man. Get him in the head. He's dead. Good kill. We're pushing behind. Where are they? One's barn house, one's shed. Oh, he's in the car, he's moving. I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. But one's in that shed, one's barn house, laying down. Hit the kid in the house. My head, I'm hurt though. I'm pushing. He was in the shed, he's tagged for sure. Still in Barnhouse? About to hit kid in Barnhouse again. Barnhouse coming out. I'm on your right, whoever's at the shed. Yeah, it's in the doorway. Yeah. Yep. Hit once, twice, three shots. Did you kill him? No, don't think so. Can't but the zombies are gonna kill me. This is me, this is me. Yeah, yeah. Watch out Barnhouse and sideline down. Yeah, it's a bad angle though. Now he's dead, dead, dead. Okay, okay. Key and shed. Dead? Dead is dead. Shed's dead, yeah. Or he's on con. Me in there, please. Oh, he's dead. This guy's dead, he was on con. Is that all of them? Check car, maybe. I'll check car right now. I'll make sure he's not uh, alive. Uh, he's not in it? Oh, no. Ah! Uh. Watch out, boys. He's gotta be somewhere. You see him? He's just laying in a bush. Now he's Let's dead. See. Oh, my gosh. Dude, they have a workbench kit. Oh, they have some goodies, The car is good. Goodies. I say we take this to base. Like, we can make a tier 3 with this, what they have in the car. Dude, uh, hang on, someone said right in the in chat, I'm in a church in the town you died in. Oh. I'm not sure if he means the guys that we just killed, but... Probably. Oh, yeah, I never cleared it, so... Yo, what's up? Yeah. What's up? Open the door! What's up, boys? Man, let me be. We're friendly, man. Friendly, man. I'm friendly yeah, as I fuck, am. man. All right, all right, all right. Whatever you need, boys, I can just throw you out, man. I'm just trying to fucking survive here. Ah, uh, brother, we, we don't need anything, don't worry. We don't need anything, don't worry. Fuck, yeah, it's, uh, is that fucking Nazar and Frankie over here? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie? <laughs> Who's Who the that? fuck's Frankie? You're Frankie. Hey, Frankie, I'm Johnny. Good luck out there, man. We're Thank heading out. Sir. Catching these guys right before they built was a major come up, so we rushed home and began using some of their supplies to further upgrade our base. That's a good fit, I think. Very cool base building design you have going, man. I gotta give you Thanks, that. Thanks, man.
Who doesn't know how to flush the toilet after they've had that shit? Disgusting. Great, Scott, we have done it. Yeah, that looks good to me. Nice. Oh. Okay, so the core of our bunker base is now complete. The way it works is that you come in from the top side and there's just gonna be gates stacked all the way along the first floor and then you go down to the under level where the loot room is. Now that the shell of our base was finally complete, we had to make a drive down to Electro to pick up our friend Carbon who had just logged back in. Carbon also told us that he had seen a guy running around with a fire axe and that's a highly valuable raid tool on this server. So we needed to find this guy and take it off of him. So the guy with you right now is carrying a fire axe. Yeah, we're using it to kill zombies. Uh-huh. Maybe you tell him not to use that and uh maybe uh we do a drive by real quick. <laughs> maybe you do I I can't I can't kill him. <laughs> I'll do it. I know, I know. <laughs> we'll have to No, we'll just make him drop it. We'll pretend like we're a third party. What? What did we hit? Did we break the car? Uh-huh. No fucking way. You gotta be kidding me. Ain't no chance we hit this. You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. I'm never playing Daisy again. They're comping our car. <laughs> I'm actually fucking mad right now. Oh, there goes a the radiator. Wait, you have a spark plug though, right? Yeah, I have an extra one. Okay, uh, I got, I got Olga that works fully. You just gotta get over here. It only needs a spark plug. Satellites, we're on the way. Why does he have car damage on? I don't get it. What is this? <laughs> you can't even fucking drive. Alright. I'm, I'm so pissed. mad right now, man. Alright. Uh, oh, are you guys by the train station? I think that's him. Nah, I mean. He's by, train, he's by train, the railroad right now. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know. Hold him up. Hey, hey! Hmm? Took it back to hands the, up, uh, hands up, hands up, both of you, hands up! Center. Whoa. Hands up! Don't move! Don't move! Uh, what the fuck are you doing up. here, man? You got, you look all don't move! Don't move, man! Don't move! Don't make me shoot you! Dude, what you doing? He, he wouldn't put his hands up. Did you kill him? Uh, <laughs> he looks dead to me. Yeah, he's dead. One shot. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, he, literally, he got a gun out and he ran he away. Killed my, he killed my friend. <laughs> ah. The fire axe is here. Huh? What the fuck? What's going on here? Oh, <laughs> dude, he had loaded guns. <laughs> Next, we transferred over to a new car and made our way back out west towards Cherno. All right, yeah. Oh. Oh. How are we not dead? No, please, no. One of us is dead. Who died? Or, or is Dexter crash? I don't know. I don't see him. It's just a spark plug though, right? Um. Yeah. Yeah, and the wheel. Maybe we look for a spark plug though? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm go like going to the fire station, looking for spark plugs along the way. What the f I just got shot. From the hospital. From the hospital? I can't see him though. I don't know where he is. Hold up. I think he's in the apartment building. I'm on the roof trying to look around. Nah, I think I know where he was shooting me from. I'm gonna spray his ass when I see him. Once I fix my bullet wound. Hit him. Hit him twice. There's two of them. There's two of them. He is like a ghillie, that dude. 
One, he, one right above you. One right above I know, you. I know, I know. It's locked, dude. These kids are something else. I'm unlocking it. I only have a PM with two bullets. It's fine. Here, I'll push first so I get you get you info. It's fine. I can. Uh, I have an armor. I should be okay. Here, I'm pushing. He's upstairs on the on the top floor. Get him or did he get you? Uh, I think I might have passed one out. He's dead. I'm dead. I mean, not dead. I'm on, on con. Now he's dead. I'm operating on you. I'm dead, pretty much. I'm dead. You sure? I'm bl blinking red blood now. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, there's no point then. Dude had a SA-58. Someone's under me. There's no way he combat logged. What the f- to blood shit you can't save yourself i respawn there's no way because i'll keep passing out and i have four bullet wounds this, and i was already blinking i was i was blinking red there's no way i win that i killed them both though but i just got to get there before them yeah question is do i get a cherno spawn i don't know so it turned out that another group had heard the shots and went to the body and they grabbed most of the stuff I was able to get some guns back, but I was just frustrated that I lost my best armor and helmet to a guy logging behind my back, and if that never happened, I most likely could have held this apartment and killed this other three men when they eventually pushed up. This was also a tough situation since Carbon died and he was far away now, and then Dexter's computer also crashed when the car crashed, so basically I was going to be all alone for the time being. With that being said, I was able to grab all of our nails from the car as well as the fire axe that we got from Electro, so although I did lose all of my gear, at least we were going to be able to take some more nails home and a raiding tool. Thank God I'm home. What an annoying ass run, <laughs> but we made it. So right now, before anything, we gotta remove all these floors and uh, turn them to roof kits because if someone raids right now, they can literally open this door, break this floor, and they're in our main loot room. Uh, we put off building it yesterday, but we're gonna do it today for sure. I'm probably gonna do it right now, actually, before I do anything else, just because I don't want to get raided by a dude with one uh, fire axe and then they get to main loot. Alright, we're good. See now, if they're above, they can't dismantle. You gotta be down here to dismantle as you can see right there. Now we just do the same for these last few floors and we'll be okay. This is going to be a little trickier to build because there's a tent. Alright. We're all set, boys. It's all roofs. We're a little bit safer from getting raided for now. Uh, the roofs, we probably should put the roofs in, but I don't know. The only thing they can really do right now is shoot us through them, and I don't think much people come around here. So I don't know if I should, but I guess it's good to not give them vision and see how many gates we have. Maybe I do put the roofs in then. Alright, the roofs are all done. Now we're really secure. Nobody can see in anymore. After finishing up on the base, we turned our attention to the compound out west. These guys were pretty much our neighbors, so we wanted to take them out before they did anything to us. I mean, we could probably boost on their roof. 
Is that you jumping the back fence? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, my bad. I didn't know you was down there. So you might have to do a triple boost. Or we could sit there and just try to crack the gate, too. Or I could do that. Might be the move, really. Start from the upper levels this time, like 900s. Huh? What? I'm in. 975. Nah. I told you, bro. So this is where they move their remaining RP goodies. <laughs> Aww. Poor guys. Oh, an Apache blade. Oh, I got some tools out here. Another Apache, but they might have a helicopter on debug. I think so. Uh, that's two blades so far. Oh my. Oh, it's a lot more than I thought. Yeah. This corner was stacked. Oh, oh, oh whoa, okay. I already got a grenade back. NPC respirator. Oh, another Apache blade, dude. You might be onto something. And an AS50. AS50? <gasps> got the mag. Damn. With a mag. Oh. Where did they get that? <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't the richest base we could have raided, but they were living awfully close to us, so it was good to get rid of them. Also, they did have some good storage items and a lot of guns and ammo we could take home. Most importantly, they had Apache blades around the base. Seeing these made us think that they were stashing a helicopter outside, since normally you can't find these unless you actually find a spawned in helicopter and take it. You wanna check for the heli right now or you wanna wait? You may as well go check right now. Cause they had three, three of the things for it, which is really, really odd. Like 100% they have to have it parked. No, for all we know, it's like two kilometers away. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm almost 2k away. There's a lot of flat rocks on your end, but they would have hit it like behind. Yeah, there's just nothing. I found the helicopter. No, you didn't. Ain't no way. I did, yeah. Stop lying. No, I'm not lying. Where? No, no joke. Um, go down from the base to uh, Sphere. In the direction. Uh, how many rotors you found? I think there's like there three. Was three in the base. I think we have to raid the other small one too because there are four missing. No way. Nah, yep. Yeah. No way. I mean, you can throw the battery in there. Yeah, I'm about to throw it in right now. All right, there she goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're missing just two. I think it'll take off. <laughs> nah, it doesn't start. Okay. If we could just get the last two Apache blades, we'd have a working heli. But this meant that we'd have to raid the last house in the small compound, so we made our way back to see what we could do. This door still open on the outside. Oh, the other door's open! Oh, it is open. That dude's in. They gotta be in there. Unless they moved. There's no code lock. I think he moved, bro. Oh my god. Uh, Johnny? I'm coming in. What happened here? Wait a minute. Why is everything open? They gotta be, like, logged out or something. Maybe they lost their will to play on here. Other Apache blade. Oh, right he has here. a weapons case. What? You found the Apache blade? Yeah, one right there on the ground. In a way, the tent's gone. Like they just logged in and packed some shit up and left. I don't, I don't understand. If they grabbed the tent, moved out to the woods. So yeah, we were pretty convinced that the owner came back, he grabbed the tent and grabbed a few survival supplies and made his way out into the woods to start a new base. 
We did end up finding the third Apache blade, but we still needed one more and we just couldn't find it no matter where we looked. We believed that it might have despawned, so sadly the helicopter was never going to be able to be used. In the first few days of this adventure, we've gotten a good amount of stuff done. We were able to raid a few small bases, we got the core of the base up, and we had a loot room full of a bunch of nails and raid tools. Now in the coming days, we're going to be really focused on base raiding and further upgrading this base into the bunker that I had originally imagined it to be. But sadly, we're coming up on an hour now, so I'm going to have to show you guys the crazy things that happened next in a second video, which should be releasing in a week or so. So keep an eye out for that, and thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys again in part 2 where we continue this story.